welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an empath and intuitive card reader. I'm here today to do, to do the general monthly reading for February 2017 for the sign of Libra. Um, I've gone ahead and um, I've uh, cleansed my cards with my stones directly out of the Bay of Fundy. And uh, let's see, so we've done that prep. The last video I did before this one was Virgo and I told them I said this is the last of my sweet grass you guys are getting and then I got looking in the bowl and I could see some tiny pieces that hadn't really burned so we're going to try for you Libra see if we can't just get a small one coming up just to clear out the energies purify everything great stuff there we go just enough to do the job And this is for you guys. There you go, Libra. Suck it back. Breathe it in. Good and deep. All right. So I will push my big camera out of the way there. There we go. And speaking of cameras, I now have, um, I'm using a different camera than before. Um, my videos were taking anywhere from three to six hours to upload per per each video <laughs> it's 12 bells again the last reading I did was last night there was 12 bells okay um so yeah it was taking me three to six hours I couldn't stand it anymore and uh, anyways long story short I have I have I'm using something different now um, and my videos went from 1.50 gigabytes down to anywhere between two and 300 megabytes so the upload time might take an hour a little bigger than that about 500 megabytes takes about two hours and a few minutes i don't mind that so much but five and six hours was too much i was just about half out of my mind anyway libra um let's get started maybe you're reading for those of you that are new this is a general reading this generalized thousands of people watch these videos and uh it can't hit home with everybody. If you want something meant just for you and only you and nobody else, that, then you'd require a private reading, and I do offer that service. The information for that is found down in the paragraph in the description and more box below this video window. Just read through it once I ask, and then you can ship me off an email, and we'll take it from there. And those of you new to YouTube or the channel, the little red subscribe button beneath this video window, if you click it, you'll be notified every time. Bay of Fundy Fortunes post any new readings, and that's about twice a month, so you won't be um, you won't be swamped with emails from me. You can find Bay of Fundy Fortunes on Blogspot, on Google, Twitter, and Facebook under Bay of Fundy Fortunes. Y'all are welcome to, to come right in and visit there as well. Sign of Libra for this general reading, February 2017. It's a general reading for Libra. Anybody viewing this video? Thank you for this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Got a bit of a surf up today. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to pick up on that or not. It's a lovely winter day here today. Appreciating nature and the fine weather. All right. No. Nope. Give me Libra's cards, please. All right. This is it. Could switch. Okay. Let's get right into it. Let's see what kind of trouble we can stir up or joy that we can create. Yeah, let's go with that. That sounds good. First card, tear up. Not again. Oh my goodness. I don't like this card. It's a rich card. It's a lot of meaning and meat to it, but it's not one of my favorites. Not when it, not in a reading like this. It's the vortex. It's your overall energy. 
the camera's backwards for me, not for you guys, but it is for me. And this is about temptation. Second card, finances and wealth, the Queen of Pentacles. She's all about kindness. Third card, Tarot's brought forward. For your hearth, your home, anything to do with your heart and love. It's calm, six of swords. <coughs> your challenges for February, Libra, is the High Priest. And he's all about wisdom. Your fifth and final card in this five-card Oceanic Tarot spread. In your message from Spirit. It's the world and it's all about regeneration. It's a good card. Not bad. And especially have it end a reading. Okay, so when I'm done that, for those of you that are new, I pull one significator from my deck of Simply Tarot at the end of this reading. Once we've exhausted all these messages. My old trusty lemonade. Wow. Okay, the vortex is commonly referred to um, the common word you would attach to this card normally is um, affairs, affairs of the heart, physical affairs, cheating, stepping outside, personal relationships, um, wearing false, false faces, wearing false pretenses, manipulative, controlling. These, these are some of the things that, that are brought up by this card. Bondage as well is one, but illusions is another. Um, as I said once before, last month's reading for one of the signs, there isn't another human being put on this earth whose sole purpose it, it, it is to, to control you, to keep you on lockdown, keep you under control. Control your life, control your thoughts, your opinions. Um, that's a form of bondage. Some go even crazier than that. But um, having said that, as I said, nobody was put on this earth to meet you and have that be their life's purpose. You can break free of this. It's all psychological and fear-based as well. For those of you that are so deep in, in such a situation as that, for the rest of you, um, some of you are feeling trapped in a relationship. Some of you are feeling trapped in a job. Some are trapped in love, what their definition of love is and lust. And there's some money issues going on for some of you as well right now. Um, as I said, the most common meaning, meaning is affairs. Some of you are feeling like, I don't have any flipping control over anything in my life right now. And this is not sitting well, it's eating at you. I need to get my control back. Everybody else is controlling me and they have been for a while. No more. You, you're ready, some of you are ready to put your foot down and become in charge of your own life again. Uh, somebody out there is going to um, meet somebody new. And this is the type of situation when you see this person. They make you weak in the knees, dizzy with desire. Your heart palpitates a little faster. Your breathing becomes quickened. You know, um, they have a physical effect on you. But here's the thing. They're no good for you card is here to tell you to stay clear. These feelings that you feel when you see them, they will pass. Now that you know who they are, um, you'll hear things through the grapevine about them. Down the road, you'll be going, I came so close. I came so close, I would have done anything for this person. Anything. This goes either way, male or female. And male or female. Um, For, for, for some of you out there, there's, there is, um, yeah, I'm hearing they won't admit that, that that's 
that's possible. Um, some people have real addictions. Some of you are on some kind of a prescription medication. And you say because it's a prescription, it, it can't be addictive. Uh, I'm not a druggie. I'm not, a, I'm not an addicted person to anything. These are pills that I need. But there's a small part of you that enjoys the feeling of the pills as well. And you've been on them so long that it's like a sedative of some kind. Um, you've been on them so long, you've become addicted. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you were buying over-the-counter, just off-the-shelf cough syrup or aspirin or Tylenol. Um, if you like the way it makes you feel and you find yourself looking forward to the next pill, um, you might have a problem. This isn't like a pain pill where, yeah, you'd look forward to the next pill because the pain's slowly easing back into your conscious and it's it's making you, it's a whole different. These are feel-good pills, feel-good prescriptions of any way, shape, or form. Some of you are addicted. Here's the thing. One of the best lines I ever heard from somebody sitting at my table. I wasn't born an addict. When I was a baby, I wasn't addicted to anything. That's how I was able to go back and sober up. And give up the drugs. And now they don't do anything. <clears throat> they don't smoke. They don't talk. They don't drink. They don't pop pills. They don't do anything. Because they believed it was just common sense to them. I wasn't born this way. Why should I have to stay this way? I don't have to stay this way. You know, and they straightened out. And it's just like blew me away. The way that they, the concept of we're so clean and pure when we're born. And then, to be blunt, excuse me, shit happens. We go through life and it happens. Um, some of you are going to have to grow a bit more of a backbone. Well, you already have a backbone. You need to strengthen and shore it up a little bit. Um, you need to take your power back. And get back in control in every aspect of your life from addictions. Get in control of that. Other people in your life getting control of that. Love and romance getting control of that as well. Your own your own body, your own spirit, your own psyche, your own conscience, subconscious. Get back in control. It's all you. It's all about you. Get in the driver's seat. Snap out of it, as they say. Stick a rubber band around your head and just snap the hell out of it. This message is meant for a few of you. And it's done with kindness. In coming from the heart and of the card. It's going to be easier than you think. All you need is a little bit of determination, Libra. Just a tiny little inkling of determination. That'll be enough to set the, the, uh, the, the fuel to the fire. <clears throat> Careful of uh, signing any contracts. Um, affairs for others. I don't want to delve in there too, too far. They are what they are. Um, you're either having an affair, Libra, or somebody in you that, that, that is with you is having an affair. I just see in a flash of a ladder. What is that all about? Does that mean anything to any of you? I just seen a white ladder leaning up against a house. What does that mean? It means something to somebody. Let me know in the comment section down below. Restriction for a lot of you. That's what you're feeling. So many restrictions. The only one that can change that is you Libra only you it's a solitary commitment and it's a solitary job but you can always go for advice to other people that are there to support you Whew. overall energy second card in your wealth and your finance Queen of Pentacles she's all about kindness uh, everything's backwards for me all right Your keywords for this card are generosity, love, for some, fertility, money, comfort, nature, children, and animals. I just, I just, I just heard somebody just had a baby. Congratulations. I just heard that. The advice of this card, um, be hands-on with everything. Get yourself involved. 
look at, uh, at things of a practical nature in a practical way. Um, if, if somebody is needing your knowledge, please, please feel free and give very generously of your knowledge and help them out, guide them along. And you will be doing that with those that you see that really need it. It's not on account of laziness on the other person's fault or the other people's fault. It's just ignorance. They just don't know. And they need your help. This, um, this card as well, the uh, Queen of Pentacles, she is the wise woman of the ocean. And she's the kind of person that we want in our everyday lives. We want, we want somebody like that. That's a good friend. She's a lover of nature, a lover of people. Um, she connects with nature on maybe a somewhat different level than most people do. She's a lover of home and family. She's very down to earth. Sometimes she's the you card. And this could be male or female. This could be you. If this sounds like you and you're thinking, this sounds like me, then that's sometimes this card does represent the... Um, the receiver on the other side of the cards. The card that is is advising you at this time as well to um, put your focus on the things that are ongoing in front of you right now. Put your focus, focus in on them things, and get these T cat uh, key tasks completed and moved along. Um, spend your money wisely at this time as well. Another meaning of this card, if it is not you, this is somebody you know possibly on the job. Somebody that's very, very supportive of you, Libra. Um, your go-to person at work for anything, pretty much. You know, complaints, extra hours, too many hours, days off, vacation time, like a supervisor. But she's more than a supervisor to you. Okay. All got to do with your money. Money, 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 money. Six of Swords, calm within your hearth, in your home, your heart, and the love in your life. Ah, oh, it's dry today. Winter is dry. So, the Six of Swords in this this place and it offers up calm and represents calm this is a card of reassurance calmer waters after much chaos so those of you that have been through something recently um we're not talking everyday little things here this was big and it felt like utter chaos to you everything was just in a twirl and everything was out of place and Yes, and, and things took, I see a kitchen. I'm seeing a kitchen, somebody's kitchen. Table's in the middle of the kitchen floor. It's a good-sized kitchen that they can do that. Four chairs sitting around. I see a man, a little on the tall side, thin, with very dark, straight hair. Longish. I mean longish, I mean the, the length of literally the hair, not the collar length. This, longish. I had this guy, it's not the same guy, but I had a guy... The description is the same, only this guy's taller. He's standing by the kitchen table and he's reaching to the middle of the table to get something. It looks like a chrome kitchen set as well. It's older, back in the 60s. Chrome, chrome uh, on the legs and in the backs, the legs of the table. The table is trimmed um, along the edges of the table. Not the top, but the edges are trimmed um, in like corrugated steel. Many lines run through it. And the top is some kind of laminate. I don't know what you call it. But I, I don't know what that is. It's what I'm seeing. I'm never wrong about what I'm seeing. So I know somebody out there is going, man, that's my kitchen. <laughs> okay. For some of you right now... Um, you're really, really striving to look um, um, at life and everything around you in more positive ways. You're going to try this whole positivity thing. Um, 
that you, that you that you hear about it every turn. Everybody says stay positive, think positive, you know, think positive, and positive things will happen. For some of you, there's a new job on the horizon. Another meaning for this card for some would be um, protection um, and priorities and important things. And you need to start trimming off the fat in your social world and getting rid of people and even places you frequent that no longer serve you, Libra, any purpose at all. And lately, the last couple times you've been in that place with those people, you didn't get anything out of it. You hadn't changed or altered from the moment you met them um, in, in a visit or an outing with them until you left and went home. And it's like, I never did anything today. I don't feel stimulated. I, I don't bland. You need to trim these things off. There will be other things you'll make room for other things that are better to come into your life if you do this. It's in your best interest. Keywords for this card are journeys and moving on, immigration, safe haven, finding peace, resolution, and protection. And for those of you going through addictions, you do need a safe haven. That's what I'm relating back into that card. Fourth card challenges for February 2017, Libra is wisdom. It's a high priest. I like him. The key words for this card are traditions, traditional beliefs, ceremonies for some, and unity in marriage. Values that will be coming to the forefront at this time as well. And something to do with authority. Authority. Um, some of you will be answering to authority. Some of you will be in, implying, implementing the authority um, within a sphere of not commu community, kind of. Team leader. coming together for a common good and you you are dispelling the 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 authority the advice of this card is to listen to your inner wisdom which will guide you into new educational paths beliefs or even a teacher for yourself per se um, Yeah, your inner wisdom is in your intuition. Up here, that's not it. That's just your conscious thoughts right here. Um, and sometimes we feel that's our immediate knee-jerk reaction when we need to make a decision or do something or go somewhere. It's right here. And Tarot's telling you, you need to just to take a heartbeat after it goes here. And you want to just take an action without wasting any time. Let's get to it. Let's get her done. You're going to 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 promise yourself you'll you'll count to one, one heartbeat is all it's going to take, and then go down here where your knowing is, your intuition, your gut feelings, and let that be your leader. Listen to your inner wisdom at this time, on on big projects, big events, big happenings. Now with the high priest. You look at this card, he has his hand that it's stretched like this because he's offering you something. He's offering to hold your hand as well, if that is what you need. But this guy stands between the, 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 the realm of the divine and mortal man. He's right there, right in the middle. And his right hand is um, opening, offering you uh, a flood of knowledge should you need that. And he's saying at this time, it's good for education, learning about other things, other people, other ways, and other traditions as well. Some of you are going to be walking into that scenario where you need to um, relate to another tradition from another group of people. <clears throat> um, I feel some of you may feel disturbed by what you see. 
whatever reason you went there for, because there was a reason, a very important reason you had to walk into, you know, maybe it's a, maybe you're a Christian, you had to walk into a Jewish hall, or you had to walk into an African religion, or, you know, fundamental, uh, bordering on radical, um, a place of religious beliefs, and something pushed you to go there. I'm not sure. Maybe you're a writer or a journalist and you needed to do this story. For some reason, you're searching for an understanding without forming any judgments before you even get in there. Um, and you're disturbed by what you see. You, your instincts and guts telling you, get up and run. Run right now. Um, and you have to force yourself to sit there. There's a restriction and it's so uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. Isn't that an interesting card? These are your challenges. All right, fifth and final card in the Oceanic Tarot spread for your Libra for February 2017, Regeneration of the World. Regeneration. Mm -hmm. Some of you already are, but some of you leading back to what some of the cards had said. You're going to be in a pool of regeneration, to put it in a meta metaphorical way for you. You're going to come out of that pool of regeneration and feel renewed, assured, self-confidence, belief, um, everything within yourself. And for some of you, one to two of you are going to realize, holy hell, I have more power. I, I have I have more inner power to affect my outer world than I ever realized. I had no idea. And you're going to feel in, in control. That nobody's ever going to control you again. They're not going to be um, ever overbearing on you ever again. Um, and there's a sense of freedom there. Just huge renewal. Some of you are looking forward to um, celebrations at this time as well. Um, senior birthdays, um, anniversaries. I sense it's around older people. Some of you are going to be celebrating something around older people. I, I like an octogenarian type person having a party. And some of you are going to be finishing up and there's a complete, completion of a job or project that you may have been working on or even a situation with other people there's something you've been working on it's all going to be you're in the final stages now going back double and triple checking all the small details to make sure that this metaphoric um, pyramid doesn't crash and that you walk away from it everything has to be in place and solidified you want to make sure everything's been shored up properly this kind of thing these are metaphors for whatever it is you're involved with right now that had a beginning, a middle, and an end. And you're all at the end now, but you're checking one last time. That's a very wise thing to do. And you go over it with a fine tooth comb, whatever that is, and uh, it will be done. Some of you right now, um, some of you are actually going to be getting engaged. Yes, sir. Relationship, a landmark. It's a landmark within a relationship with somebody. Some of you as well have a chance to travel at this time. The advice of this card is to celebrate um, what you have achieved. Embrace any new opportunities that come your way. You allow yourself to feel the full energy that is that is sweeping through every vein in your body. And you have more motivation than you ever did before. The world is now your oyster. And you flip and know it and you didn't know before. I can do whatever I want to do. I can be whoever I want to be. I can I can go wherever I want to go. And it, it's strong realization for a few of you. It really is. And it causes such excitement. This is a really great card. This was your message from Spirit. Okay, so let's get right now down to the um, significator for this overall reading. You please bring us one significator card from the deck of tarot to cover in reference to the five card oceanic tarot deck for the sign of Libra. 
in this general reading for February 2017. One significator, please. One. You guys probably can't hear that, sir. She gets up full and loud, though. Oh, you'd hear it. You guys will hear it over the summer. I'll have all the windows open here, and you'll probably be able to pack up on them. One significant for Libra in the general reading, February 2017. Set. All right, here we go. One more cut. Two of swords. Twos aren't bad numbers. They're actually quite good. Let me get my book. <clears throat> I'll read it verbatim for you. Two of Swords. The Two of Swords indicates that a painful and difficult situation is being reconciled. However, in this context, it is very important to look carefully at the cards which follow it, as there is a possibility that a relationship will never be exactly the same as it was before the conflict or the quarrel. I'm seeing possibilities of reconciliation, possibilities of of healing the possibilities there, but it's going to swing one way or the other. You can't stay in limbo in the middle. Let me pick. Let me pick the next card because it said the cards that follow us, follow it, uh, will make it some more clarification. Wow. The Ten of Pentacles. Now there's a good card. I don't know if there's a reverse because it came up reversed. One moment, please. <clears throat> no, there's no reverse. That's great. That's a good card. And uh, this card represents abundance and wealth and gain. It is the pinnacle of prosperity with material goods that last instead of being temporary. Things are becoming more serious now for some of you. I'm hearing right off <clears throat> Absolutely, brand new furniture in the house, and we're not talking Walmart stuff. We're not talking, you know, cheaply glued together Chesterfields from China. No offense, China. <laughs> um, you get what you pay for. China can make some beautiful furniture, and they send it over here, and, and it's all carried in by our stores and passed on to us. Um, the quality is probably in some very shoddy, so you get what you pay for. You're thinking, what a beautiful Chesterfield, $600. Wow. You know, and you're feeling it looks like twelve, fifteen hundred. dollars You're done with those days, kidding yourself and wasting money. You're buying quality things now. And it, they're understating. You're doing it with a touch of class. From your clothing to your appearance to the home, that you, everything is with a touch of class. It's very quiet and it's very understated. You're not the type to um, to want to wear the bling and to flash everything. With you, it's quality and understated. Lasts forever. And the older it gets, the better it looks. Just like you. So that's that. Um, some of you, yes, are going to be buying a home. Looking for a family home as well. Some of you are running a business that you may be able to pass on to your children when the time comes. And some of you are, may be the lucky recipient of a trust fund, and that's going to make a big difference in your life. It'll make a big difference to the people who are in your life as well. I feel that, that that's going to affect that very, very sharply. And some of you, it's very possible, could win a lottery win big enough to last a lifetime. Well, Libra, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated with you or some of you. Um... I'd like to say thank you for all the likes and shares. I do see some of you share the videos. And um, to the current subscribers, thank you so much for always being here. It means a lot to me. It means everything. Um, 
and to new subscribers, welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to shut down, but I will see you guys, Libra, and uh, around the 15th, give or take a few days of February to do the mid-monthlies just to see how everything's swimming along. Until that time, you know the drill. From my heart to yours, stay safe, live in peace, love and harmony. Goodbye.